Hello, my name is Victoria Rose and welcome to Egypt with me. Today I'm just going to kind of take you through a uh, kind of a day. It, every day is very different, but today I'm going to show you what I do because I think it'll be an interesting day, but we are going to get picked up here in a few minutes and go to a place called Three Pools um, in Dahab, by the way. It's much different than what you'd normally think when you think of Egypt. There's no pyramids here. The tentative plans, hopefully things go according to plans, is to do a little safari, do some snorkeling, um, and have a little lunch, and just see the, the prettiness here. I'm actually really sore today because I went to the gym yesterday. I also have to bike into town because I'm kind of on the outskirts, and then bike back. So I got a really good workout in yesterday, but I'm very sore. So I'm at the gym right now, and you have to wear a mask, but it doesn't have to be on your face. You just have to have it on you. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, so, yeah, there's separated areas for men and women, but I just got the full gym pass. Um, it's a very small gym, and it's hot. <laughs> The hab is a much different vibe. Um, it's very safe here. Everyone's like, be careful, be careful. It's like, you be careful because I felt way more in danger in America than I do here. So Egyptian people from this experience, from this place so far, they're so kind and they're the funniest people. Like they have a really good sense of humor. P the people here are amazing. So I'm packing my bag, my GoPro. I have it covered up with a mask, GoPro 9. So excited, I'm gonna snorkel and show you the fish with this. This is what I'm wearing there. I think we're riding four wheelers. One of my routines is not just my vitamins and stuff, but it's very essential to put on loads of sunblock. And I can't put on a lot of makeup today because it's all gonna get washed off in the snorkeling. And also I'll tell you the pricing of how much things cost here, okay? Oh, and I should do a little haul too. For example, this necklace was 20 Egyptian pounds which is equivalent to, it's less, it's like a dollar or something. Isn't it pretty, handmade? So this is the slug block that I'm using for today. Um, I brought this with me, there's not a lot of it, so I'm gonna use this in the days that I go into the water, because it's ethical, good for the coral, and it's also SPF 50, so we're gonna put that on. So the slug block is working so far. As you can see, I'm pretty, I'm still pretty pale. So we're getting picked up in a truck to go somewhere special. Do you have a different color uh, of like this? Oh, yeah. These girls much? came up and they were relentless with their selling. I bought one little anklet, but she was not happy. I only bought one. <laughs> the next thing we did was we went snorkeling. And it was amazing. It's a whole nother world under there. This whole trip cost 350 pounds.
So I just went snorkeling for the first time to see all the fish and um, it was pretty magical. Yeah, I'm not the best swimmer yet. I endured a lot of trauma for this. <laughs> I've decided to not ride any camels or horses while in Egypt because I don't think they're treated very well. Oh, beautiful. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Look how pretty this is. Hello. <laughs> the next thing on the agenda was riding four wheelers in the desert and we had to wear scarves for sun protection. We rode the four wheelers to a Bedouin area to sit and have some tea and water. Second time. You want sugar? I don't mind tea. I don't drink tea, but everybody drinks tea here and then a lot of it. <laughs> I just I don't like tea. The temperature here every day is probably around 95 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit for all my Americans. After exploring a bit, we drove back on the four wheelers and sat in the swings for a little while and then waited for our pickup. Usually when I'm out the whole day or I do social things, I need some recovery time at night, so I edit on my phone and, and just stay very quiet. So I completely clunked out last night. Um, I got really tired after snorkeling so much and then the sun and foilers and everything. So I fell asleep. I edited a little bit and then I fell asleep. But today, I a couple days ago, I met um, this guy on the street, which sounds weird. But this is, like I said, this, like, this is a very small town, uh, Dahab. And it's kind of like a beach vibe. Like everyone's very friendly. It's very safe. Like, he's a filmmaker, so we're gonna try and shoot something. I know my job may seem weird to people, and people always ask me what I do and how I afford all this, blah blah blah. But I've answered it so many times. But briefly, um, uh, I do YouTube as my job, also Instagram, TikTok, all the social medias. I work with brands. I do live streaming. I AdSense stuff like that. It's not a huge living. It's very inconsistent, but it is how I'm able to travel because I can work and probably work even better while I'm traveling. So I do work really hard at this and I think about it a lot and I really put myself out there. I have worked on this for years upon years. I It's taken me a very long time to figure all this out. So it is a real job and it requires a lot of effort, work and creativity. So yeah, some, some days when I'm traveling, like I'll spend the whole day inside just editing and uploading things and all that because it does take a lot of time and yes I do miss out on some of the time I could be spending doing things at the place but that's that's you know pretty typical. I don't know what my whole point was in that but I was basically saying that I do modeling shoots with local people when I travel countries and I really like um, working with other creatives while I'm traveling. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I 
as you know, traveling during Corona has proven very difficult and we spent hours um, trying to figure out flights out of Egypt because a lot of countries aren't letting people who have been in Egypt in. Civil aviation, not just so we had to figure that out and then figure out where we're going and the, the requirements for getting to the country and then have a destination after that country. So it's just a lot. I keep not finishing this video in a day, but I'm gonna finish it now. Thank you for joining me on this, what I'm doing here in the hab. I just burnt my hand on hot, like I was pouring some hot water for a coffee and scalded my hand. Um, it's okay, I'm also, you know, I'm getting a little, it's very dry here, by the way, my hands are super dry. Uh, I'm um, a little bit stressed today because of outgoing flight stuff I have to figure out. Like I'm gonna be here a while longer, but I have to figure out where I'm going after this. And all the plans that I had fell through. Well, I didn't really have plans. So, and then I started researching everything with my friend Layla and it was just like, not really allowed anywhere. Not as an American, but at, like coming out of Egypt. So after this, I'm gonna go to Cairo. We booked that, spent hours upon hours yesterday trying to find flights that we're actually allowed to go on. Um, so it's, it's great, it's fun. Egypt's great, but the traveling part of this is not. But don't worry, this is still Egypt. Let's focus on Egypt. You guys don't have to worry about all that stuff. We'll worry about it when we get there. I'll worry about it before then. <laughs> but thank you very much for joining this vlog and I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned, please leave a like and comments and we'll get through this together hopefully. Okay, bye. Oh, the traveling kind, it's a known fight. Yeah, I know that mm. Once you see